Hello everyone and welcome back. Till the previous session, we have been studying the data transfer between the 8085 microprocessor and the memory. Now for the 8085 microprocessor, if we want that to communicate with all the different peripherals like memory or I.O. devices, the microprocessor needs to interface with them. And in that, the basic interfacing components of 8085 microprocessor comes at rescue. From all the interfacing components, today we are going to learn about the latch. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this session, as I mentioned earlier, there are quite a few interfacing components of 8085 microprocessor. Let me inform you, there are actually four different components. And from those four, today we will cover the first one, that is the latch. Now, during the concept of data transfer, we have seen the latch, right? And we saw the latch was becoming helpful when the data channel was being freed so that the data transfer could happen. However, the address decoder requires the total address till the entire data transfer process is complete. Now, since in 8085, the address and the data bus are multiplexed together, Therefore, we needed the latch. Now, the question is, what is a latch? Coming to latch, it is a fundamental circuit element used to store binary information. In simpler terms, a latch stores a single bit of data and keeps the data until it is updated. Latches are often used in digital systems for temporary storage of data. Let me provide an illustration. Consider this box. As you can see, there is a latch on it. Now consider this box as a single bit digital space. Now if we put a data, say zero within the box, and thereafter activate this latch, that is, enable this latch, it will mean the data has been logged in. So as long as the latch is enabled, this box is going to hold the data until it is updated. So that's the basic concept of a latch. Now in 8085, if you remember, the ALE line is used to hold 8 bits of data from the address lines AD7 to AD0 in an external latch. Now this latch, which is controlled by the ALE pin, is a transparent latch, that is, it ensures that the address information remains stable during the time when the microprocessor is either accessing the memory or performing other operations. In simpler words, latch is used to hold the lower order address till either the read or write operation is completed. Now in this organization, the latch which is used is known as 74LS373 and this integrated circuit is actually comprised of 8 latches. Now why exactly 8 latches? Think about it. One latch can hold 1 bit data. Now from 87 to 80, how many bits there are? Well, 8 bits. And that's why this integrated circuit has 8 latches. And do remember, until this is updated, the contents within the latch will remain unchanged. And that's all about the basic interfacing component, latch. So in this session, we covered the topic, the interfacing component, latch. Alright people, that will be all for this session. From the next session onwards, we will learn about the remaining interfacing components of 8085 microprocessor. So I hope to see you in the next ones. Thank you all for watching.